Hi, my name is Cole J. This is you're watching Black Legends TV. And right now I'm here with a living legend, CCH Pounder. You may know her from uh, Avatar and a whole lot of other movies. How are you doing? It's so funny that you would choose Avatar where I'm in completely blue with big ears and a tail. Who the hell would recognize me on that one, do you think? The only reason why I said Avatar is because I saw that last <laughs> night. And so, oh, yeah. Okay, great. That's why, that's okay. why. So um, how does it feel to be in London? Uh, it feels lovely to be in London again. I don't know if you know that I grew up here for quite a bit. And uh, I went to America as an adult because I wanted to be an American actress. So uh, this is my third or fourth time coming back. But prior to that, I think I was away from London for about 15 years. Mm -hmm. So um, I grew up in Sussex. I came to London four times to Harrods to buy a school uniform. So these last three times is actually the first time I'm really in London. Right. So I'm not a Londoner by any means, not even from <laughs> past memory, and pre certainly not today. I've gotten up and walked every day, got lost, and found my way back to the hotel, which I'm really proud of, because it means I'm still a homing pigeon. So she's London, right down to the heart. Love to, love to see that. Trying. <laughs> yeah. trying. Okay, so obviously you're, you're here for the premiere for Home Again. Um, what kind of role do you play in the movie? I call my role a cameo. Um, listen, independent films have a really hard time getting produced, and it really does help if you have a celebrity or a name person who can help it move along. And I think this is what happened with Home Again. Um, they got backing from Don Carmody, who by chance did Orphan, who also did Mortal Instruments. So he joined forces with an independent film to back it because he certainly recognized one of the actors in it. And I think this is the collaboration that I'm looking for now that I feel that my career is uh, solid and I pretty much do the types of roles that I'm interested in, is to start to incorporate independent films that have a Caribbean theme uh, or story and that highlights the region of the world that I, uh, I was born in. So that's my original purpose. And the bottom line is, is that the script has to be good. Okay, so to be, you just telling me that just makes me really feel that you really enjoyed, you know, being a part I of the movie. loved working with it. I loved looking over the table and seeing a black female producer. It was the most empowering thing mm. to see these young, um, bright uh, director producer teams that have a ton of ideas and they want to get it done in their lifetime I want to help I understand that how do you think how do you think people are gonna be very like responsive to this film like, do you think that they'll, they'll respond one way or another well, I think from our community, we're accustomed to seeing sort of what I call light fare comedies or something uh, incredibly like dastardly horrible and makes you feel bad. The wonderful thing about this film is that it um, raises a question that's affecting um, a great deal of the population of the world. The fact that we're focusing on three young people who were originally from Jamaica um, makes it a personal but universal story because this is happening for people who came from Eastern Europe who are stuck without papers. It happens for uh, Mexican Americans in the United States who are stuck without papers. But very, very similar stories. So um, I think the audience will recognize it. They might start off by saying, ah, well, it's the people from the Caribbean, four folks, sorry for them. But in hindsight, they will remember um, the Germans, the Jews, the um, people from Brazil, all the different types of migrants that came without papers. Now we've got Somalians and Syrians 
all looking for places to be. Mm. We have um, the French West Africans, the clandestine in France and south of Spain, who are all looking for a place for a better life where papers are an essential part of it and um, how they go through their lives with and without it um, is fabulously highlighted in this little film from Jamaica. Okay, past this actual movie, what kind of um, projects are you working on, you know, like from here? Um, this year you will see me in the sixth season of Sons of Anarchy, which is a, a television show which I believe is in showing in, in the United Kingdom. I'm pretty sure it is. I think it is. Yes. Yeah. Um, I've just finished up the seventh season of Warehouse 13, which I believe is also showing in the United Kingdom. And then I'm now doing the promotion for Warehouse, I beg your pardon, for Home Again. Um, as you know, I was in Avatar and Jim Cameron is doing Avatar 2, 3 and 4 in a row. I don't know if I'll make it to the fourth one, but um, we are waiting to hear how the script turns out. Um, he's going to do it back to back because these films take a really long time to do. The first one, I spent two years with him. So um, because of the technology that's required for those films, um, it, it's a good chunk of your life. So I'll see how it goes. I might be too old to make it to number four. Never. You'd never do that. Thank you. See Don't look a day over 21 to me, to be yeah, honest with you. I tell you. I mean, what was it like working with James, you know, with James Cameron, like a huge director? He's a huge director, and he knows what he wants, and he's a, a master technician, but he can't act, so he's very grateful for the actors. <laughs> and thank God I fell in that category. I understand yeah. that. Yeah. Also, with this film, For Home Again, did you actually uh, bring up any uh, personal experiences with this film? I think anyone who is from a, a foreign place that's moved to a, a, a first-rate country... Mm. Um, would have some kind of experience. This is what I remember as a teenager. I remember um, my summer job, coming from my summer job. Um, this is uh, coming from England, going to America for the summer. I remember hearing a really beautiful male voice on my mother's porch. Gorgeous. And I remember they were drinking, and I could hear the glasses clinking. And he was deciding whether he would push a broom in the United States or in Canada, which means that he was about to leave his country. And my parents had this kind of halfway house where people would talk things through, like what would you do, what were your skills, what papers do you need? And um, that in itself is a strong enough impression to know um, how difficult it is when you're a have-not. I definitely understand that. And uh, also deciding whether you're going to be a third-class citizen when you've been a first-class citizen in your own country for many years. I, can't believe you, I still can't believe that you left the UK to go US and you haven't come back since, man. That's crazy. Well, I'm back now. I'm you're back now. Just, you know, I just I need to stay with us, you know? Thank you. <laughs> uh, one more thing, actually. I've you know, lasted over like a very, very long career. You must have been, you know, loads of awards and nominations. So, uh, what's what's like the biggest highlight of, of like an award that you've ever received? Um, my award actually is not a, a solid thing. This is my award. You're that actress. I love your work. Those are my two awards. I hear it a lot, so mm. I've got a lot of them. Um, I don't need an award to do what I do. Mm. I have a training and a confidence level that is due to my parents who um, did not believe in acting, but certainly believed in me, and that counts. And so I'm really um, not discontent with being overlooked. But I get fiercely annoyed when my colleagues are overlooked. So maybe deep down inside i'm also going now just wait a cotton pick a minute <laughs> maybe that's happening too i'm not sure okay well hopefully when this thing when this film actually hits hit you know hits like the big screen it looks like everyone's going to be nominated or, or like the whole film gets nominated if i i, I do want to watch this film to be honest with you i really want to see how, how how like the whole thing pans out well the big award about this film for me is that it starts a dialogue and we start to talk about the story itself and that kind of situation and what we can do in America, Canada, and the United Kingdom to alleviate that kind of pain. 
Brilliant. Well, CCH, thank you for talking to us. It's nice talking with you. I'm talking with a living legend right now. It's crazy. I absolutely love her. This is Black Visions TV. My name is Cole J. This is CCH Pounder, and we are out.